Hello and welcome back to the PPW podcast, as always bringing you news, views and interviews from the world of real estate, online marketplaces and prop tech industries. My name's Harvey Hancock. I will be your host today. I'm news editor at Online Marketplaces. I'm with Simon Baker. Simon, where are you? Hi, uh, today I'm in Madrid. Madrid, uh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, the, <laughs> the week after the conference, um, we had a fantastic conference uh, last week in Barcelona, 300 and 20, 330 odd people from uh, 44 different countries came. It was, um, and, and some brilliant speakers, really good topics that were covered, super engaging. Um, clearly the highlight was the, uh, the chance I had to chat with uh, Andy Florence, the CEO of CoStar, controversial as ever um, in his views of, of the industry. Um, and I think bang on in a lot of stuff he says as well. Um, and we'll talk more about that a little later. Absolutely, because we want to have a bit of fun with this first conference roundup podcast, ladies and gentlemen. So, Simon, why don't you give us a quick introduction to Notebook LLM and why that is of significance to this particular episode of the podcast? Yeah, so Notebook LM, not LLM, is a Google product. Um, and what it does is within a closed environment, so you basically spin up a notebook, it's free. So for all, it's free. So go to Notebook LM and you'll find it. Um, you open up a notebook, right? You dump in up to 50 files. They can be PDFs. They can be audio. They can be any language. Doesn't matter. It could be Spanish. It could be French. It could be English. And you, you can then start asking questions across all those files and drawing conclusions. Give me summaries. Um, give me insights. Uh, around it. So I thought, well, why don't we do this for the conference? So I uploaded all the presentations as PDFs. Okay. Plus I uploaded all the audio, which we recorded of all the speakers and then said, give me a summary. Right. And uh, we actually did that on the fly. So the, at the, the, for those who were at the conference, the last session was, um, myself with, uh, Malcolm Myers from European Internet Ventures and Jonathan Turpin from the AIM Group talking about the key takeaways um, from the conference. And, and we had uh, the output from AI guide the conversation, which was fantastic. And, you know, we were, we were all pretty amazed that, you know, what was fun, I think uh, 35 different presentations got summarized very good, very well into the outcome. But then there's another bit of functionality that it has, and, it, and, it, and it's actually super cool. It's uh, basically, it, it creates an audio overview. And what it does, it will go through all the, the uh, notebooks, that, or, sorry, all the documents you've uploaded into a notebook. And then it creates like a mini podcast summarizing the outcome. So we thought um, we'll do two things. One is tomorrow we're going to come back with another podcast where we actually talk in detail. Harvey and I will go through what we took as the takeaways from the conference. But for today's episode, we thought we would just bolt on now the output from AI as a basic conversation between a man and a woman about the conference. Um, it's, it's very American in its uh, outcome, but it is super insightful and demonstrates just how powerful AI is. A very good summary and a couple of things I would add on to that. Let's not take for granted the fact that firstly, this is about two and a half days worth of content all put into what is between what, 10, 15 minutes of audio. So it's very, very dense and you move on from one topic to, to the other very quickly. But what's really interesting to me is that these podcasters do not exist. They're not real people. Yes. And they are having what sounds like a really organic conversation they've got ums and ahs they've got little questions like right at the end of a uh, a sentence and a point to make it seem like it's really a human being talking and it's really impressive it definitely airs on the side of an uncanny valley uh, for those of you who are aware of the phrase it does um tell us that uh, technology is certainly on the rise we'll put it that way but yeah so ladies and gentlemen this is actually the end of me and Simon for this part of the podcast. We're about to drop in an AI podcast for you to listen. Uh, tell us what you think of it. Tell us if you want more of them. 
in the future. But until next time, it's goodbye from Simon Baker. And it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from me. Thanks very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy the AI podcast. All right, so get this. We're diving into AI and property portals. It's changing how we buy and sell homes. And frankly, I'm kind of curious to see where it's all headed. We've got reports, analyses, all that good stuff from industry leaders. So let's unpack it. Yeah, it's a real shakeup, isn't it? And this isn't just some flashy tech thing. This is the whole property portal market, like seriously transforming. Like imagine if finding your dream home was as easy as having a chat. That's the kind of shift we're talking about. Lord, hold on a sec. That sounds massive. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We should probably start with the basics, right? We've got these excerpts here from this AIM group analysis. And they're saying even the big players, even someone like REA Group in Australia, are facing some heat. Apparently, they're known for these like hefty price increases, like 15% annually for agents, which makes you wonder how long can they keep getting away with that? Yeah, it's a real pressure point. And users are getting smarter. They're not just looking for a list of properties anymore. It's like they want value. They want insights. They want an experience, you know? If portals can't deliver that, they risk becoming obsolete. Like those old school newspaper classifieds. Totally useless now, right? Exactly. You got it. Think about it. Portals have to evolve. They have to offer more than just the bare minimum. They need to be part of the whole ecosystem, you know? They need to provide solutions for every step of the way. Which brings us to AI, right? <laughs> I mean, we keep hearing about all these AI-powered features popping up, like mm -hmm. personalized recommendations, market predictions, even like virtual staging. It's almost like they're reading our minds. Yeah, and that's where the real opportunity is. Portals are sitting on mountains of data and AI. AI is the key to unlocking all of it by like analyzing user behavior, market trends, and all the property data they can create insights and experiences that we couldn't even imagine a few years ago. And this isn't just theory. We were at the conference, remember? We heard some pretty mind-blowing examples of how portals are putting AI into action. Like DD360 in Mexico, those guys are not messing around. They're scraping data from everywhere analyzing it, and then using their own financial arm to offer mortgages on properties they think are good deals. And get this, they're even telling agents what to price their listings at. Now, that's leveraging data, right? What I think is brilliant is that they're not just collecting information. They're using it to create a more efficient and like a transparent market for everyone involved. Okay, that's a pretty impressive use of data, I gotta admit. But let's bring it back down to earth for a sec. For the average person just trying to find a new place, you know, how is AI actually making their experience better? Well, in one word, efficiency. Mm -hmm. We heard from companies like Homelike, and they've gone all in on automation, using AI for everything. I mean, verifying listings, managing accounts. They've streamlined their entire process. So less time wasted on the boring stuff and more time to actually find the perfect place. Precisely. And Samuel Toribio, he's their head of Europe, he was saying they slashed their conversion time from like three weeks down to three days just by implementing AI. Think about that. What used to take weeks now takes days. Okay, that's huge. Uh -huh. Especially a hot market, right? You snooze, you lose. Absolutely. And it's not just about speed either. Companies like PropTex are all about making the whole experience more engaging, you know, more interactive. They're talking about virtual staging, personalized design ideas. They're even integrating with furniture retailers. So it's like try before you buy, but for houses. That's cool. I can see how that would be a game changer. Exactly. Stefan Gunnarsson, the CEO over at PropTex, he highlighted how these AI features have led to way more engagement for portals like Zillow and Redfin. People aren't just browsing anymore. They're interacting, they're exploring, and they're staying engaged for longer. It sounds like the portals that are really using AI are the ones pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But like any new technology, there are challenges, right? Building and managing those AI teams, that's not easy. And then there's data security. You have to make sure everyone's information is protected. It's not as simple as just flipping a switch and everything's perfect. Right. We can't forget about the potential downsides. We heard from Andre Mima at FlatFi, and he was talking about some AI features that were more like gimmicks than actual useful tools. It's a good reminder that successful AI needs careful planning and execution. It's not all hype. You got it. It's not about just chasing the shiny new thing, right? It's about using AI strategically to solve real problems and create a better experience for the user in a meaningful way. Okay, so we've talked about AI making things smoother behind the scenes, right? But what about how we actually search for properties? 
That's got to be changing too, right? Totally. One of the hottest topics at that conference was natural language search. Like imagine just telling your phone what you want in a property in your own words and it just gets it. That's what we're talking about. Wait, so are we saying goodbye to all those filters and drop downs? Because sometimes I feel like I need a PhD just to find a decent apartment online. I feel you. And it makes sense when you think about it. Those traditional search filters, they're like relics from the days of print classifieds. Remember those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> those tiny descriptions crammed into a couple of lines. I remember my parents struggling with those. Exactly. But online, you've got all the space in the world to showcase these properties. And with AI, you can personalize the whole experience. It's not about matching keywords anymore. It's about understanding what the user actually wants. So instead of me trying to figure out which filter to click, mm. I can just say something like, find me a three-bedroom house with a big backyard for a dog. Good schools, yeah. but, you know, keep it under this budget. Exactly. I actually saw a demo of that at the conference, Malcolm McCallion from Model Prop. They're developing a tool that does exactly that. He called it turning property search into a conversation, and it felt so natural, like you were talking to an actual agent who just got you. Wow. No more messing around with those filters. That's a game changer. Right. It's about understanding those little nuances that you might not be able to put into a filter. Like maybe you're looking for a place with character or in a neighborhood with a good vibe, you know? AI can figure that out and find places that match what you're really looking for. But then that brings up another question, doesn't it? If we're all just going to be chatting with our AI assistants, will we even need to go to property portals anymore? That's the million dollar question, right? And while those AI assistants are amazing, they don't have those massive databases of listings that the portals have been building for years. They don't have those relationships with agents. Yeah. The industry knowledge, you know. So it's not really one or the other. It's more like these technologies need to work together. Bingo. The smart portals, the ones that will really take off, are the ones that embrace this change and integrate those AI tools into their platform. Give users the best of both worlds, right? Want to use super specific filters? Go for it. Want that conversational experience? We've got you. Makes sense. Meet the users where they are right. And it goes beyond just the search function. It's the whole user experience. Imagine a portal that anticipates what you need maybe even before you do. You're browsing properties in a certain area, boom. It's suggesting local spots, schools, walkability scores, all seamlessly integrated. Okay, now that's taking it to the next level. That's some serious personalization. And companies are already on it. We talked about CoStar, right? They're going all in integrating AI into their Matterport platform. Think virtual staging with AI suggestions tailored to your style. There were even whispers about AI writing property descriptions that really capture the feel of a place. No way, that's wild. Yeah. But if search is changing, what does that mean for SEO? You know all that behind-the-scenes stuff that helps people find websites? We had this session with Mike Vander Heiden from Portal Ventures, and it sounds like SEO is in for a wild ride, too. Oh, yeah, big time. Traditional SEO, it's all about keywords and links, right? But when search becomes a conversation, the whole game changes. Mike was saying that Google is already testing AI-powered searches that understand what you mean and pull information from all over. So instead of just a list of links, you get a direct answer, like a mini report. Exactly. And for portals, that's huge. They need to start figuring out how to optimize for those AI searches, how to make sure their content is what those AIs are finding. So it's not about tricking the system with keywords anymore. It's about making content that's actually useful and interesting, almost like you're writing for a human and a robot at the same time. You got it. Right. It's about figuring out how AI thinks, how it processes all that information, and then tailoring your content to match. And that's where human creativity comes in, right? AI can analyze data spot trends, even write basic stuff, but it can't replicate that human touch that makes content really connect. Right, so it's like a partnership. Mm -hmm. AI and human expertise working together to create something even better. Exactly. And that's what makes this such an exciting time. We're on the edge of something big, and it's going to require a whole new approach to search, to content, to the entire online real estate experience. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about how much is changing online and how fast it's all happening. Yeah. It makes you wonder what it all means for the average person, just, you know, trying to navigate the whole crazy real estate world. Right. Because for all this talk about algorithms and data and all that, real estate is still about people. Right. It's about finding a place to live, to build a life, to put down roots. Exactly. It's an emotional experience, right? Not just a business transaction. And I can see how AI could make it feel kind of cold and impersonal. Yeah. And that's the thing portals need to be careful about. It's not about 
AI taking over, it's about empowering both the user and the agents. Like imagine AI tools that help agents understand their clients better. Tools that find properties you wouldn't have even thought of. Tools that make the whole process easier and less stressful. So AI becomes this like invisible assistant yeah. working in the background to make the whole experience smoother, more efficient, more enjoyable even. Exactly. It goes back to what we were saying before. The portals that get it right are the ones that embrace this change and make AI a natural part of the experience. Make the technology work for us, not the other way around. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about some of the downsides because there are always downsides, right? With any new tech, I mean, data privacy for one, are we giving too much information to these AI platforms? It's a good question, and it's important to talk about these things, to address them head on. Transparency is key, right? Right. Users need to know how their data is being used, and they need to feel confident that it's being protected. Right. It's about trust. Yeah. Not just clever algorithms, but ethical practices and open communication. Absolutely. And we also need to think about bias. Algorithms are only as good as the data we feed them. So if there's bias in the data, that bias can get amplified. Really important point. We've seen that happen in other industries, mm -hmm. and we don't want AI making inequality in housing even worse. Exactly. We need to make sure AI is making things more equal and inclusive, not less. And that means being careful, paying attention, and everyone in the industry needs to commit to doing the right thing. That's on all of us. Yeah. Okay, so big picture time. What's your take on the future of property portals? What's your big prediction? I think we're about to see a fundamental shift in how we think about these portals. It's not just about finding a place to live anymore. It's about this whole ecosystem of services all powered by AI. Imagine portals that connect you with mortgage brokers, contractors, even interior designers all in one place. Wow, so the portal becomes the central hub for everything real estate. Right, but here's the twist. I think the most successful portals are going to be the ones that make themselves invisible. Invisible. Now you're just messing with me. No, I'm serious. Yeah. What I mean is that the technology, the AI, all that stuff, it just fades away. Users don't even notice it. Yeah. What they experience is this seamless, intuitive, almost magical thing where their needs are met before they even know they have them. The whole process is effortless. It's like they say the best technology is the technology you don't even notice. Exactly. It's about creating something so good so personalized that it feels like it was made just for you. Well, that's a pretty exciting vision for the future. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see how it all plays out. Me too. It's going to be wild, but I think the future of real estate is looking pretty bright. This deep dive has been incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. My pleasure. Anytime. And to everyone listening, we hope this deep dive into AI and property portals has you thinking differently about your own real estate journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and remember the future of real estate is in your hands.